Hey, welcome to PNW Enduro. New bike day. This is the first time out on the new 2024 Husqvarna TE300 Pro. And also, new gear and new boots today. I actually got this gear a couple months ago and I kind of been waiting till the end of winter and while riding, uh, kind of been just using my older gear throughout the winter. So this is the first ride of spring and I'm just getting used to the new bike. So hit some trails. So I haven't touched the suspension yet, other than playing with the sag a little bit. I'm gonna let it set in a little bit and then maybe make some adjustments. going to be a little slick today so I'm going to stick to some of the easier trails most likely. Front end is feeling good on those roots in there. So I'm running a 12.45 gearing. Stock is 13.45. I usually always run the stock gearing, but it seems everyone is gearing these bikes down. And I've tried a few of them and they were all either 1245 or 1348, whatnot. Seems easier to steer with the rear wheel on this bike kind of settle into corners nicely I think I probably need to go a bit more sag when I'm sitting in the corners it's not settling quite as much it's always hard the first time out you know your bike's never gonna be as clean as it was when you got it One thing I noticed so far is I've missed the shifter a few times. I don't know if that's just the new boots or I'm used to the Sherco shifter that sits out a little farther, but I just have to adapt to it. So on the scale, this bike setup ready to go is eight and a half pounds lighter than my Sherco 300 SE was. And I still need to remove the tail light piece on this. I ran out of time last night. Uh, so there's probably another pound or so there. The more bikes you ride, you get used to certain setups and you notice things that aren't quite right right away. When I was riding this bike around the parking lot this morning and in the first trail, the handlebars didn't feel right. So went back, rolled them forward. Just one notch, there's little lines there for adjustment on these Astro bars and made a huge difference. It's the kind of thing that you can kind of set up in the garage, but you really have to get out on the trail and try it first. You gotta work on my habit of giving a little bit of throttle when I hit the starter button. I'm so used to carb two strokes now.
trail you can get a pretty nice flow when it's dry. It's a little slick right now, we gotta dial it back just a bit. One thing I'm gonna change out pretty quickly is I'm gonna get rid of this dual start stop button. I don't like it at all. It's a little hard to press the start button and I find if I'm reaching to turn it off I'm hitting the wrong button sometimes and even the the red button to kill it it sometimes it takes a b actual bit to actually shut the bike off so i'm just going to put the traditional start stop one button each like a lot of people have done you can buy them they're just plug and play <laughs> Bike really pulls nicely in first gear up those hills. Look at this chocolate cake. This trail's got a little bit of a gatekeeper entrance. And then this incredible chocolate cake dirt in here but the other end of this trail absolutely gnarly I think I'm gonna try this way because that way is hard enduro for sure and I'm not up for that today until it dries out a bit I haven't actually done this section either, so check it out. Okay, just gonna connect to another trail here. Gnarly stuff. Okay. I'm really liking the transmission on this bike. Never really a fan of the old TE XCW transmissions. The new one, now they're the same as the XC TX models. It's just perfect. Shifting is a lot nicer than on my Sherco as well.
Now I got a couple hours in, I'm noticing it's a little bit different start technique. Like you have to just barely tap the button. If you hold it too long, it won't start, but if you just tap it, Oh, a little bit slick there. Pretty cool area. So I know you guys are going to want to know if this bike lugs as good as my Sherco did. I'm going to say not quite, but it's actually pretty close. Definitely better than any TPI bike I've ever been on. as well. So first ride in the books, um, really, really good. Loving it so far. Couple crashes, haven't dented the pipe or anything. Uh, did make that one adjustment on the bypass. I'll show you where that is. There's down in there. And uh, cleaned up the throttle response. And otherwise, I need to play around with the sag some more and shave the seat down. A little more because I didn't do it enough. Um, suspension wise, uh, it's fantastic. I have not touched a clicker and it is so good right now. I'm loving it. So stay tuned for more to come on this bike. Thanks for watching.